Item number SCP-3353 Object Class Cutter Special Containment Procedures Foundation historians specializing in European folklore are to maintain a list of numerically significant dates to predict future SCP-3353 manifestations. Locations that have been confirmed affected by SCP-3353 manifestations are to be investigated at least twice monthly as per date noted on the predictive list. Should SCP-3353 manifest during a monitoring session, Foundation agents are to patrol the area and intercept any passerby who approach the location of manifestations too closely. Amnestics may be administered as necessary. A disinformation team of at least 10 researchers is to monitor social media outlets for reports of SCP-3353 sightings. SCP-3353 is to be explained as a low-attention public artistic project involving fairy tale enthusiasts attempting to make people's lives a little more magical. To add with this cover story, five SCP-3353 disinformation team members are to maintain several active artistic blog accounts, which regularly post a variety of mundane art content in addition to recipes and crafts instructions for making non-anomalous versions of the apples and desserts produced by SCP-3353. Apples recovered from SCP-3353 events are to be kept for analysis and low-priority storage. Should the apple spoil, it can be disposed of in non-anomalous waste containers. Description SCP-3353 refers to a recurring anomalous phenomenon which initially manifests with the spontaneous appearance of an intangible apple tree. Note, typically measuring 2-3 to three meters in height, and as a result relatively inconspicuous in appearance, within a public garden or park area. SCP-3353 events occur most commonly in the United Kingdom and Ireland, typically beginning at midnight and concluding after three hours. Additional SCP-3353 sightings have been reported by social media accounts originating in Australia and Japan, but these cases are currently unconfirmed. Following the appearance of the apple tree, several apples will manifest beneath it. These apples appear non-anomalous, with the exception of not displaying on digital device screens when photographed or videotaped. Closer inspection will reveal the words, Tell me a secret, etched in neat handwriting into the skin of the apples, as if carved with a small knife. Should a human individual voice a personal statement while holding an apple produced by SCP-3353, there is a chance that the apple will vanish and be replaced by a small dessert, biscuits, tarts, or small cakes. Desserts produced through this effect are universally enjoyed by any individuals who consume them regardless of existing taste preferences, and appear otherwise non-anomalous. It is further noted that SCP-3353 desserts tend to spoil at a quicker rate than non-anomalous counterparts. In rare cases, individuals who handle an apple produced by SCP-3353 but attempt to hide it on the person or otherwise refuse to speak to it will grow drowsy, eventually falling into a deep sleep for several hours. This effect seems to result in extreme disorientation upon awakening, and no lasting harm. Apples that are not handled during the SCP-3353 manifestation were referred to non-anomalous variants, with no etching at the conclusion of the event. At the conclusion of the SCP-3353 manifestations, the apple tree will be replaced with a ring of mushrooms, commonly called a fairy circle, elf circle, or fairy ring in Western Europe. The mushrooms produced are consistently local species and possess no anomalous qualities. Addendum SCP-3353-1 the first recorded case of SCP-3353 manifestation occurred on March 23rd, 2013, when two Foundation personnel patrolling a privately owned park during their routine duties 
Notice the unusual apple tree associated with the presence of SCP-3353. The present now approaches the tree, noting that both it and the surrounding apples on the ground did not display on the surveillance cameras. After containing the nearest Foundation site, researcher Dominic Harris, Doctor of Humanities, University of Cambridge, was authorized to further investigate the anomaly. He proceeded to interact with three apples. Note, Researcher Harris has attested to the truthfulness of all recorded statements. Until the following results were produced, spoken words present in italics. I tell my mother that I like her cooking, but I really don't. No change noted. I'm embarrassed by not knowing the difference between vegan and vegetarian, even though my girlfriend is vegetarian. Apple crack in half, transformed into a small cupcake. When I was younger, I smashed my friend's toy car, because I secretly wanted them to pay more attention to me. No change noted. If I can get away with it, I won't bathe for a few days in a row, or I'll only wash my body and not my hair because it feels like a chore and unnecessary too. No change noted. One time I mispronounced a word and people laughed at me, so I went home and looked up lists of mispronounced words and practiced them. Apple transformed into a Manchester tart. I shaved the hair on my knuckles every month. No change noted. I feel really awkward when I eat too slow or can't finish a meal in public, so I pretend that I like home cooking to eat alone as often as possible. Apple transformed into a Manchester tart. Researcher Harris later reported that he felt that the exchange was not a fair trade, or things considered, and that the anomaly itself seemed to be more of a prank than anything else. The SCP-3353 research team is currently discussing how to assign personnel stationed in the United Kingdom for further investigation.